We are right behind Twente and Inoptus and Brunel aren't that far or so, so we will try to catch up today. with a completely empty battery without running out before and to do that we use um, weather data and our current GPS location and calculate and optimize driving speed but not only us the other teams do that also um, but yeah we use a different kind of strategy so let's see which team is better prepared which team not only has the better car but also the better strategy it will be decided in the next few days <laughs> work here on the highway and we have a traffic light now it's finally green that's really good we really tried to be here as fast as possible and time the, the time windows where the traffic lights uh, are on red and on green but the window for the green phase is really short and i think it's like five minutes 30 on red so it was super hard to time it and be here on the perfect time at our night stop location which is about one and a half hours out from Barrow Creek. Today was a very calm day but unfortunately we fell a bit behind in comparison to our competitors. This was largely due to a traffic light which cost us about four minutes and due to bushfires. We had seen a couple of smaller bushfires yesterday but the ones that we encountered today were really massive. So there were big clouds of smoke which blew onto the highway. That's why we had to slow down in order to keep Adelie and our drivers safe. Due to the fires we also lost a lot of solar energy because the smoke was so dense and dark that no sun could pass through. And nevertheless we managed to drive about 650 kilometers, which is a very good result. Tomorrow we'll try to get back into the race and we will keep pushing and we will keep fighting.